Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my favourite eyelash curler. As you can see, the difference really is incredible. This is my eyelashes before, and then this is the side that has been curled, and as you can see, they really do stand bolt upright. So this is the Prio eyelash curler. The reason I prefer this over an ordinary eyelash curler is that you can get right into the corners, which tends to be the areas that don't always get curled that well with a regular eyelash curler. Ideal if you have smaller eyes or you have quite tricky eyelashes that tend to lay in different directions. It contains a smaller size pad so you can be more precise with your curling. It's one that's used in Japan a lot where women traditionally have shorter eyelashes so it's really good at turning them upright and it also comes with spare pads. The design works really well for finger placement as well. So I'm in the middle of filming a tutorial and I thought I would film this separately just to show you guys. I've done my eye makeup, I've put nothing on my eyelashes as yet. So what you're going to do is going to take your eyelash curler and place the pad side underneath your top lash line. And then you're going to gently clamp down as close to the root as possible, being careful not to catch your skin. Now you can clamp them just like this and I'll show you the result. You still get a little lift, but if you upturn it like this, this you're not pulling on your lashes you're just rotating the handle and you will see that you'll get so much more lift to your lashes and if you widen your eyes by looking down into a mirror you can get right to that very outer corner eyelash which you will tend to always miss right at the root with a traditional eyelash curler then you can just walk your way along the eyelashes clamping them rotating the handle to give them some lift and work your way all the way across towards the inner corner and you can see more so with these eyelashes that are front on how much they're lifting on my other eye i will show you it from a side angle so you can really see how much they lift with just one clamp I've spoke to you before about eyelash shedding. We tend to shed our eyelashes every 90 days. They come off at different times, so you won't go completely bald, but you will find that your lashes tend to look a little bit more sparse. And then you'll notice when the new ones are coming through, because they always tend to point down slightly and they catch your mascara and they look really annoying. So with this eyelash curler, because the clamp on it is quite fine, you can get so close to the root of your eyes that you can even catch those baby lashes so that they stand upright and then that way when you've got mascara on, they're not poking downwards. So I've worked my way along this eye and you can see the before and after from each eye and you can see you get so much lift. If I turn to the side, you can see how much they are pointing upright and then compared to this eye, which again has no curl to it as yet. I'm gonna demonstrate on this eye just to show you if I clamp just the corner, you'll be able to see how much lift you get compared to the part that you've not yet curled and look, it just stands upright so much compared to the eyelash that you've not yet curled. If you are somebody that regularly curls your eyelashes, you will know that once you put mascara on, you will get a certain amount of dropping because it's like if you was to straighten or curl your hair and you get caught out in the rain or there's a lot of humidity, that moisture will change the shape that you've put into the hair, which might make you think, is there a point to curling your lashes before? Yes, because you still get extra lift, even though the mascara will cause a little bit of drop in. I like to use the double technique, which is to curl them before, then curl them again after you've applied your mascara. I will link up on screen my mascara hack for you guys to show you how much you can prevent this drop in by using a certain product on your lashes before you apply mascara. Here I'm just going to show you a little clamping after you've applied your mascara and after it's dried how much again it adds a little bit extra lift. It is really important to allow your mascara to fully dry before you do this otherwise you will just get into a bit of a mess. So again, I will show you on the opposite eye. Once that mascara is dried, you can go back in, rotate once you clamp to get extra lift, and you will find that this will keep your lashes upright all day long. Have a play around, see which you prefer to do. You might just want to avoid clamping with no mascara and only after you've applied mascara. Again, I still feel like I get extra lift if I clamp before and after mascara but everybody has their own preference. I just wanted to show you these because I feel like they are amazing compared to ordinary eyelash curlers. I will link the places that I found that sell these eyelash curlers in the description bar for you. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the tutorial because it really helps with the algorithm. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel. I upload every Thursday and Sunday and a short in the week. I am most active over on Instagram if you want to follow me over there, but for now I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys!